the world, it kind of gives you a whole new look at the world. And uh, I, I, we were in Berlin, in fact, doing uh, Rock Meets Classic. Alice Cooper is an American rock singer, songwriter, and musician. He's best known for his work on a number of rock subgenres, including hard rock, heavy metal, glam rock, industrial rock, and many more. Critics generally refer to his musical style as shock rock, in part due to Cooper's use of stage props like guillotines, swords, and electric chairs. Outside of music, Alice Cooper has been involved in a number of additional pursuits, most notably film and TV acting. He's regarded as the music artist who first introduced horror imagery to rock and roll. The Rolling Stone album guide has called Alice the most beloved heavy metal entertainer in the world. Apart from his music, Alice is also a golfing celebrity and a restaurateur. Out of Germany in the next 30 or so hours, we're closing the borders. So that was the end of that tour, and we haven't toured since then. That was March 7th. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Vincent Damon Fernier, but he's also known as Alice Cooper, the godfather of shock rock. He was born February 4th, 1948 in Detroit, Michigan, making him 73 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.77 meters or 5 feet 9 inches tall. Alice is a highly skilled golfer who frequently edges out former pros in celebrity pro-am tournaments. He's been honored as a legend at the Classic Rock and Roll of Honor Awards and the Kerrang! Awards. Alice has been inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Arizona Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame, and the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends Hall of Fame. During an interview for the program Entertainment USA in 1986, Cooper told the interviewer, Jonathan King, that the Yardbirds were his favorite band of all time. Cooper's a fan of the NHL's Arizona Coyotes. During an interview with Johnny Walker on BBC Radio 2 in September 2007, Alice said he was not a Christian when he gave up drinking, but stated that he thanks God for taking it away, saying, I mean, if he, God, can part the Red Sea and create the universe, he can certainly take alcoholism away from somebody. He started dating Miss Christine of the GTOs during a time when the band was signed to Straight Label. The real name of his girlfriend was Christine Furka, who passed away in November 1972. He then dated Cindy Lang for several years. She died in 2017. After Alice broke up with Cindy, he started dating an actress named Raquel Welch. He then reportedly left Raquel to marry Cheryl Goddard. Cheryl's a ballerina instructor and choreographer. The couple married in 1975 and got divorced in 1982. However, they reconciled in 1984. Together, they have three children, including Dashiell, Calico, and Sonora. Go, well, maybe we needed a year off, you know, but yeah, I always look at the optimistic part of it and uh, families stayed together. Initially, Furnier was raised in Detroit, Michigan and comes from a family that was closely involved with religion. His father was an evangelist from the Church of Jesus Christ, and his grandfather was an apostle in the same church who eventually became the president. Vincent Furnier was intimately involved in church activities as a young boy, but was often ill. Eventually, he and his family moved to Phoenix, Arizona. He attended Washington Elementary School and Nankin Mills Junior High in Detroit, but later enrolled in Cortez High School after the family relocated to Phoenix. He later earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Glendale Community College. At the age of 16, Alice Cooper formed his first band, The Earwigs, with Glenn Buxton, Dennis Dunaway, John Tatum, and John Spear, to participate in the local annual Letterman's Talent Show in 1964. They dressed up as the Beatles with wigs and costumes and performed parodies of the songs, which earned an overwhelming response from the audience and won them the show title. Encouraged by the positive response, they decided to form a real band and rename themselves The Spiders, with Cooper as the lead vocalist. The band later renamed themselves as Nas and began traveling regularly to Los Angeles for shows in 1967. After a chance meeting with music manager Shep Gordon, following a disastrous gig and another wrongly timed audition for record producer Frank Zappa's label, Straight Records, they bagged a three-album deal mostly because of their bizarreness. 
Their first album, Pretties for You, 1969, which was an experimental presentation of their psychedelic rock music, was a critical and commercial failure. The band's eventual shock rock reputation was also the result of an accident involving a chicken at the Toronto Rock and Roll Revival concert in September 1969, which had become a sensation on tabloids. The band's most successful album was Billion Dollar Babies, released in 1973, which reached the top of both the U.S. and U.K. charts. Vincent Furnier, who'd already changed his name legally to Alice Cooper to avoid legal complications over ownership of the band name, released the album Welcome to My Nightmare as a solo artist in 1975. Despite the album's success, his next three albums of the decade, Alice Cooper Goes to Hell, Lace and Whiskey, and the semi-autobiographical From the Inside progressively failed at the charts, partly thanks to his alcoholism. He returned to the music sphere with the albums Constrictor and Raise Your Fist and Yell, but his 1989 Grammy-nominated album Trash became his most successful album of the decade. His 25th studio album, Along Came a Spider, released in 2008, peaked at number 53 in the U.S. and number 31 in the U.K. His 2011 album, Welcome to My Nightmare, made it to number 22 on the U.S. charts. Cooper released his 21st solo album, Detroit Stories, on February 26, 2021. In May, he announced a fall tour to promote the album, supported by Ace Freely, set to begin in September 2021. The way the world should have pulled together to help out people that, that couldn't help themselves. And uh, I saw a lot of cooperation. Alice has accumulated his net worth through singing, tours, and brand endorsement deals. In 1971, the singer earned $2 million from two albums, including Love It to Death and Killer. The next year, Cooper added $1 million to his bank account, thanks to the album titled Schools Out. From 1975 to 1976, Alice earned more than $3.1 million from albums, including Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits, Welcome to My Nightmare, and Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. He released the album Trash in 1989 and earned $1.516 million from this album. He has a net worth of $50 million. He has a house in Phoenix, Arizona. He purchased his current Paradise Valley property for $90,000 in the 1970s and stationed his growing family there. Nestled in the hillside neighborhood of Goldwater Estates, the mansion boasts expansive views and bold, eclectic decor, all in Cooper's signature rock and roll style. Cooper and company may finish the night with a round of games in the Rockstar Studio, which doubles as a recreation room. Some of the highlights include a pool table, a limited edition Alice Cooper Nightmare Castle pinball machine, and his projector for movie watching. The walls are also lined with historic photos of Cooper and stars like Frank Sinatra, Peter Sellers, and the Beatles for guest viewing pleasure. He owns the following cars, a 1966 Ford Mustang, an Aston Martin Vantage S, A 1970 Ford Mustang Boss. A 2017 Ford Mustang. A Porsche 997 GT3 CS. A Lamborghini Gallardo.
a Porsche 911.